people are remember that our jdbc jdbc concept little bit i took in the yes, spring sir. spring boot only right in the spring boot only i took the spring jdbc yeah spring lot driver class yes yes so what is that spring spring dot what is that data source right yes yes dot data source data source driver class data source data source dot what is that driver driver hyphen class class name. class hyphen name right hyphen name another one is what spring spring data source data source data URL. source dot url another one is what spring, spring. dot data source dot username username spring dot data source dot password password right these things is there okay so now control shift t uh sql my sql dialect no dialect for what orm we are not using the uh, like uh, orm na sql driver not coming just take star driver anything Yeah, my SQL data source. Okay. My SQL, yeah, correct, correct. So my SQL data source is there, na? Copy this com dot my SQL, my SQL CG date JDBC. Copy this one. Come here now. Dot. dot what is that dot driver 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 this is the class name right control shift t let's check it one more time control shift t driver see this my sql driver is there na come on yes ravi copy copy this one copy this one come here just paste it and again the copy the class name also copy the class name also what is the class name driver just dot this one now this property is ready now what is the url now what is the url so 360 right 30 Three three zero six is what is that port number of my SQL driver? So I need to search. I forget that one. Guys. Chrome. Now what I am doing now? Here, my SQL. My SQL driver URL. So JDBC colon this one only right now I'm copying this one. Copy this one. Come here, paste it, and what we took the database name guys user tab right. User tab. Okay, so this one we took the name of our var. So just so no is there. Remove this one. That's it. Now user name is what is that root and. Uh, password is what root now fine guys come on now yes, our, our property is ready now guys okay our property is ready now so yesterday we developed one application na guys
come on yesterday we developed our application people are remember that controller class hmm yes, yes. so what i'm going to do now guys uh, actually i'm not going to waste the time guys okay the same controller class only i'm going to copy and paste in the application so like yes yeah, okay yeah so now right click new let's take one package right what is the package we will take what is the controller Okay. Controller, right? Now finish it. Inside that, what we will do it now? Come inside that what? Controller, this one, na. Copy this home controller from here. Copy this home controller and paste in this controller in this one only. Same controller only. I'm copying the and a pasting now. Same things, right? After then, what is that in the home controller? What is that? This page is returning, na, guys. We need this page also, na. Come on. Mm? Yes, sir. So, um, yes, yes, sir. In the resource okay. template, I'm copying that uh, files also. These HTML files also. Copy this one. Multiple we can't copy. Hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Single, single. We need to copy it. It will become horrible, na. Okay. Now, in the template, I'm pasting. First, I pasted. Second copy. Second one copy it. Paste inside that. This one also copy. Paste inside that. Third one also copy. Paste inside that, and this one also copy. And paste inside that. Right, all right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, all all HTML files are came right. Okay, so yeah. just we need to uh, actually we can copy and paste the configuration class also, right? I can, but no, I will not because uh, whatever modification we need to do in the configuration file only we need to do, friends, right? In this file only we need to do, but I will develop front of you people only. This file again I will develop front of you people, right? I don't want to uh, like use this one modification. I will not do this file. I will do because everything will be same only. This one. Also same only small small changes will be there, but uh, in that file only modification is there. I will develop that file as a scratch, right? So next, what we will do it okay. now, guys? Next, I'm taking what is that one configuration, right? Right click new, take one class here. What we will take it now? Config class, right? Config class. So here, what I'm taking now? Security. Security. Config, right? Security config. If we want to make this class as a configuration class, how we can make it now, friends? At the rate. At the rate. Of configuration. At the rate configuration. configuration, right? At the rate configuration. If we want to enable security in this class, what we will do it now? At the rate enable, the rate enable web, web security. Web security, right? Fine now, guys. So if we want to give the input of what? Input of what? Username and password and all those six to our filter. Filter. So what? What uh, abstract class we will extend it now? Web security. So, sorry what what abstract class we will extend it now abstract web security configure adapter right yes sir yes sir web security something sorry Oh, sorry. Security W uh, only abstract security configurer adapter. Oh, what is that? Web security, right? Web security. Yeah. Web security configurer adapter, but still, why it's not giving the in the short format? Web security configurer adapter. 
yeah it's came right inside that what is that two methods are there configured with what is that authentication manager builder and another one is what http security right come on we need to override those methods right come on people be active yourself yes, friends be active yourself now okay yes. fine now guys so now here here the changes will be there in this block changes will be there whatever code yesterday we developed same code we will develop in this block in this block we same code will be uh, developed but here we are using in this time what is that jdbc bc authentication now yesterday we used what is that in memory authentication right in memory now today today yes, today today which 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 uh, authentication we are going to use it now jdbc right jdbc, JDBC yes. yeah so yes. if we if we want to use jdbc then what is that jdbc uh, uh, jdbc authentication will come right jdbc authentication will come so authentication dot what is that jdbc jdbc authentication first we will take this one next what we will take it now next we will take it what dot user user what is that user by user by username query username query here what we will give we will give first query here we will give what is that first query after then dot dot what is that dot what we will take it now authentication 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 what we will take it new next one is user query right user query this one only na authentication by username query right yeah so next one what we will take it now authenticate uh, authentic sorry authorities by what is that user name query right we will take uh, what is that yeah authority uh, authority yeah authority only yeah correct next what we will take it what is that authority by what is that username here also we will take what is that second query now one more we will take right one more we will take what we will take it now another we will take it what data source data source right we will take is what data source okay so what data source we are already the data source configuration we given friends right already data source configuration here we given right come on but we need to use yeah. it we need yes, to we need to use that data source uh, like things right in our configuration class then what we will do it now we we will make the auto wired right we will make the data source class as what is that auto wired here okay no issue later later we will do it why this one one minute my system is hanging one minute okay so here what we will do it now private private what is that private we will take yes. as what is that data source right yes sir private data source data source class is there but why it's not giving here one minute driver manager control no 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 one minute data see one interface is there right data source this is so copy this one data source we will take the why this one yeah data source data source right data source and how how we can inject this data source control shift o 
right we need to make this one as a what yeah. auto var at the rate auto var right make this one as a what auto var okay so we will pass this data source right we will read the data source property from the ioc container and we will pass in this argument in this argument after then what one more thing but why this one is not taking as argument it's saying that mismatches is there right one minute jdbc user details manager configurer adapter validator is not active x okay it's asking another another data source friends okay so what we will do it now here this one remove this one control shift o this one this data source is correct correct right this java x dot sql data source is not correct java x dot activation dot data source is correct Ravi, we are using sorry i think uh, sql we have to try uh, earlier we had that uh, java x actually yeah but still this one is giving the problem yeah something you are saying that what yes uh, sandeep tell me something you are saying right yeah okay we we'll go ahead uh, go ahead we'll see yeah we will see something is still the problem is there okay no issue let's dot another one way is what another one we will take is what password password encoder password password encoder encoder method is there why this one is not giving one minute something issue is there right so for uh, data source shall we try sql data source java x sql earlier it was activation again we kept activation only oh earlier was it was activation yes. control shift o uh, earlier it was activation again we kept activation oh, 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 i okay, think okay, it's okay. sql okay okay dot dot what is that dot we will take as what a data source right yeah perfect perfect good observation good observation sandeep appreciated now dot dot what is that next what is that password password encoder so how now how how we are encoding that password now it will encode and decode we, uh, and this one only will what compare that password right the last time we saw that right how we can how we are doing now see this the password encoder, encoder right yeah. password encoder so how, how in that argument what we will take new password encoder right new big password encoder yeah so here we will take at as a what is that new vcrypt password encoder this one will do what encoding and decoding process right because the, in the encoded format what we we already stored the data in the database right here we already but it's it this this api only will decode the data also right decode method is not there but this api having the capability to decode the data and what is that Com comparison will happen comparison will happen what i wrote now here see this if exist in code from the password and compare with the database password if matches then continue the to next sql else go to login uh, login bad credential right login bad credential so what is that here here right yeah. if first sql query return valid return then read unroll from the database using the form username right so this method will what is that in decode right decode and compare compare with what compare with what database uh, is it really this username and password is correct if correct then it will compare the role now okay fine guys so here what here what we will do it now here what we will do it now here we will use that query right which query 
no this is the create query is there right create query is there but for the selection purpose we will write means this 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 things will happen right internally insertion operation we did and uh, like creation first we created the table right first we created the table for that purpose we wrote this query we wrote the query after then we inserted the data for insertion purpose this query is there na this query is there next what is that next two query we will write it here let's write here now in this one what is that first query will be what is that first query is what is that select query right select 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 what is that username is there na the table name right username right username username is there these things must match guys okay otherwise our application will not run username password you enabled and a you role right you uh, sorry first first step is what happening now for what's happening now username password enable things we need right come on select execute select operation two step is happening i said right i said first step what is that select operation so this method is performing what this operation now guys this operation purpose what is that this method this method is what to performing what this operation and okay. to performing this operation right to performing this operation for that purpose this method is there got it hmm yeah got it okay so now what we will do it now we will write the query right so what is that select select what username you name you name you name and u p w d and what is that enabled enabled right enabled from from user tab right user tab equal to question mark equal to question mark right so what i explained now guys what i explained now so select username password and enable i take na from user tab come on where yes. username is what is that here i took what is that question mark question mark right because it will take as a dynamic parameter right dynamically it will take yeah. so so here what is that where username right username this query only i am writing see username username password and enable come here come here what i wrote now username password where condition missed enable yeah yeah correct correct from user tab right user tab from user tab right where condition good observation from user tab where 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 you name equal to question mark this is the query right this is the query so what we will do it now copy this one copy this one come here and just paste it here and take user name as what is that sandeep sandeep deep right because let's run it uh, if the query is in the report sandeep yeah 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 good <laughs> mm. right now run this query unknown code error right something Ravi, you enabled ravi sorry you, you missed you. yeah you missed you you enabled you oh. enabled you column name yeah you enabled yeah now it's working right this is the query okay so copy this one come here and paste it here now here remove this one and make this one as a question mark right okay yeah. next query is what next query how we can write it now come here what is that select username role from the user tab where the username is a question mark right this one will be the query come on friends hmm? yeah yes, yes. so yes, now let's write it 
let's write it okay here only let's write okay here only select select what is that username and what is that user role will be there right username and what is that you role you role from from user tab right user tab where you name equal to let's take sandeep only right yes. sandeep sandeep okay so this is the query now okay now run it yeah so here admin role is there right come on yeah means this one is also yes, yes. working yeah. right so make this one yes. as here here let's take as a question mark right let's make this one as a what question mark and copy this one this query and come here and paste it right so now our our what this method is ready now guys okay now this method is our our this method is ready now so next step what we will do it now next step what we will do it now now let's come inside this this method right inside this method and let's uh, work on this area right so what is that everyone is uh, like what uh, familiar with this method uh, development guys okay because you have started same there is nothing nothing changes we will uh, find out in this method development right so here what is that http dot authenticated right authenticated uh, sorry authorized right authorized yes, sir, authorized request right authorized request authorized request right so dot dot what is that ant matcher friend why i am taking dot dot because return type is what only uh, if the same class return type is same that is called what is that builder design pattern anyone know that builder design pattern <laughs> no issue okay i'll teach you guys okay. builder okay. design if we are taking like this means what is that if anywhere if method chaining if you are finding means builder design pattern concept is working on that <laughs> method chaining right this this design pattern is nothing but what builder design pattern don't worry whenever i will teach the design pattern i will explain right so yeah okay um, yeah so this is the builder design pattern i'm using guys okay this this method is designed right sorry this object is designed based on that builder design pattern only just i'm using it okay but Uh, if if we are designing our own builder design pattern then we can call all method uh, like like this in our object so don't worry in the is uh, design pattern we will learn right so now here what dot 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 what is that ant matcher right and matcher and matchers right inside that what we will take it now what we will take it now just come here come inside that our controller class friends right come inside that what our controller class where our controller class now this one is right so what is that let's take first what is that home 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 make home as what all permit all right permit all permit all i'm making home as a what permit i'm giving the all people permission in anyone can access home right after then what we will do it now dot dot and matcher and matcher and matcher after logging right after logging what i need i need what is that common page right Come on, common page. Yes, sir. Yes. My system is too much slow now after clicking that. Yeah. Dot dot authenticated right? Authenticated means authenticated means what? After uh, login, anyone can access right? Come on, friends. Only login required right? Yes, dot and dot and matcher right dot and matcher next one is what now friends 
Next one is what? Now. Admin. Yeah. Next, next one is what? Admin URL, right? Copy this admin URL. My system is hanging. Uh, after clicking, it's giving late response. Now, dot, what is that? Dot. Has which authority. Bank? Yes, has authority. Has authority. Here, what is the authority now? Admin? Come on. Yes, sir. Admin, yes. right? Sandeep having mm -hmm. the admin. A D M I spelling is correct. Okay. Admin, admin authority, right? Now, next one is what? Dot and matcher dot and matcher here what is that next one is what next one is what employee request yeah. right yeah. copy as a party now dot as a has, hmm, has authority, authority as what a what employee Employee. employee employee right now after then what dot any request i'm giving authenticated yeah authenticated fine friends okay so now here here what is that after then what after then after then we need what is that logging form right logging, logging. form means and what is that and and, and and my system is too much slow. Why? I don't know. Dot. Okay. After then, what? Dot form. Um, form login. Form login. After then, what is that? Dot. Default. Sorry. Default, default success, success yeah so default success url right default success yeah. url inside common. that success url what we will give now common right common, common. Okay. here here no need okay after then if we are giving the default success url right after the, um, then also the by default what is that success this this page only will open one minute i will remove it what is the use to taking the extra things there right so make this one as what is that true make this one as what true okay here let's remove it no need guys okay here no need after logging that by default this uh, success page only will open right so after then what next what we will do it now dot and dot and dot and after then what is that log out we need now guys come on log out log out right log out after then what is that dot log out dot log out right log out request na request matcher right request matcher inside that what is that new and path and path matcher right and path request match here we will give the python right what is the slash logout logout right logout but before this one what is that before this one something we need to do what we need to do if any exception came in our like if a, uh, the admin want what is that uh, if admin want if admin want what is that to access our employee page he cannot right because if if he uh, he want to access then he will get what is that 403 error na so end user will end user don't know what is the 403 right so means what is yeah, so we need to handle that exception also now. So dot and dot and dot. What is that exception? Exception handling dot. What is that dot access? 
एक्सेस डिनाइड पेज राइट एक्सेस डिनाइड पेज एक्सेस डिनाइड पेज व्हाट इज द एक्सेस डिनाइड पेज नाउ व्हाट इज द यूआरएल राइट व्हाट इज द यूआरएल दिस इज ओनली राइट डिनाइड ओनली या डिनाइड my system is too much slow after clicking that it's giving late response yeah so now fine friends now our development is ready okay our development is ready now guys okay now shall we uh, run our application and shall we see that result guys it's based on our expectation it's working or not come on now yeah. yes sir okay fine. so here what i'm going to do now come here right click run as a spring boot application now open the browser oh sorry http colon double slash local host what we took the port number friends 9090 9090 right 9090 yes, slash just i'm taking what home now i'm hitting that welcome to home page right means because anyone can access right come on yes sir okay. now i'm taking what is that admin now hit it see this for the admin what is what we are getting now login page right mm? login page yes, login page now yes. what i'm going to take now sandeep sandeep and what i'm taking now sandeep right now Sandeep. click click it here now welcome to common page right i am able to log in as what sandeep na come on see boss yes. welcome to common page welcome to common page now admin now see this welcome to admin page we are able to get it or not come on friends yes ravi now i am trying to access what is that i am trying to imply emp page see this what i'm getting you cannot access this page you are right come on yeah now 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 i'm logging out right slash log out right log out see you have been sign out right again what i'm going to do now sandeep sandeep again i'm see sandeep sandeep and here password am a b c d a b c d means bad credential now click it what is that bad credential now here what i wrote now what i wrote now friends see this bad credential what i wrote now if we are putting the wrong yeah. wrong username and password what we will get bad credential we are getting or not come on ya yeah. hmm Yes, sir. right. Yes, now, now after then, what we will do it now? Here, I'm just giving what is that? Uh, Manjulata, right? Manjulata, and what is that? Manju. 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 I think is there in the Bhool Bhulaiya movie, right? She is there, Manjula. right? मंजुला now i'm taking yes. as what is that emp because we logged in as a what is that employee employee role see 
वेलकम टू इम्प्लॉय पेज बट सी वॉन्ट टू एक्सेस वॉट इज एडमिन पेज सी कैन 